So over the past few years, I've been collecting some vintage fishing lures and other fishing memorabilia. I want to display it somehow for some future man cave. I remember going to the Bass Pro Shop in uh, Parallel and I saw how they displayed their vintage lures in shadow boxes. You know, I figure I could probably do something like that. And of course, they had other vintage fishing memorabilia on display, such as these fishing tackle boxes, some examples of taxidermy, and, you know, stuff like that. But I was more focused on the shadow boxes. So I headed on over to uh, the Hobby Lobby to get some ideas. And uh, when I got there, I went to the home decor section where I saw some items that would make a, a good man cave someday. But I'm pretty sure all this crap was made in China by political prisoners. It was interesting, but I moved on and ran across the um, frame aisle. And then I started getting an idea. I could get two frames of the same size, attach them together, and make a shadow box. Of course, I would still need um, a Hobby Lobby framer person to uh, staple the backboard tabs in for me. first thing I needed to uh, get done was to cut to size some foam board to uh, fit inside the grooves of the back of the uh, frame. And then of course I would um, tab the backboard into place. Now once that's done I'd flip it over and um, cut to fit a bunch of cork board to be placed and later glued to the front of the uh, backboard. I'm just using plain old Elmer's and of course I use the same process for about three more frames. You know, I kind of spread that glue out like I was a uh, Jackson Pollock painting one of his crazy works of art. You know, he's the guy who first splattered different colors of paint on a big canvas and called it art and got lots of money for it. Of course, I played placed uh, some weights on the cork board to aid in the curing of the glue, continue with the other frames while uh, pretending I'm Jackson Pollock on my glue jobs. Well, so next I cut pieces of uh, burlap bigger than the backboard and uh, glued the fabric to the uh, 
two layers of uh, thick cork board with an aerosol glue spray. Um, in the future uh, projects, I switched on over to a silicon glue for a better adhesion. But I did go back to using the um, Elmer's glue for gluing the burlap onto the lips of the backboard on all four sides. Then I used small clamps to uh, press and glue the burlap to the backboard lips. You know, it seems like I didn't really have enough clamps and I found myself going back to Home Depot or Lowe's for more clamps, you know, to kind of speed up the uh, gluing process. Of course, the next step was to uh, fold the burlap around back and glue it in place with the help of uh, painter's tape. Obviously, you know, the back doesn't look real nice, so I uh, started to cut to fit black poster board pieces uh, for each of the uh, backboards. And then again, I pretended to uh, be Jackson Pollock again with the glue and glue the uh, black poster board pieces to the back of each backboard. Of course, I use various things as weights to place pressure on the uh, poster board and used um, some clamps to uh, secure the edges. This is what the uh, finished backboard product came out to be like. I popped, it and I popped it in place and tabbed it into place, and so now uh, the uh, bottom portion of each shadow box is complete. Now this next step is pretty easy. I just used silicon glue and applied it to the front of the bottom of the frame and placed the front, of, front frame on top and applied pressure. In this case, I used an old tackle box, a gas can, and an old uh, tent leg weights. Lastly, I need to finish off the boxes. I need to attach the uh, hanger wires to it. And of course, I can't forget the uh, rubber bumpers to prevent any wall damage. And I guess all together I produced about four shadow boxes on this round. Well, the mail came, so uh, let's take a break and see what's inside of it. We'll call it a uh, an unboxing. So that's cool, a couple shirts and the cat from the Mystery Tackle Box Company. And also a uh, fish ruler from um, the Bass Pro Shop. And I got a tab gun, so uh, Hobby Lobby doesn't have to charge me to put uh, my framing tabs in for future projects. And of course a replica of a fish that I'm going to use for a future project. So first I just use uh, what little creativity I have and try to place the lure and other artifacts in some decent pattern.
And then I uh, used my wire working tools and made uh, staples out of stick pins and cut the heads off of them. Then I used the uh, homemade staples to uh, secure the lures onto the back backboard and onto the uh, cork underneath. Yep, that looks like my next project, so stay tuned.